As it turns out, women are actually more sexist than men. Last night, my wife and I were watching a TV show called America Inside Out with Katie Couric. Katie Couric does a great job of staying in the middle of issues rather than going too left or too right politically. So it was an interesting TV show to watch. One of the things that she discovered was even more interesting. That is that women are actually more sexist than men. Now, before I show you a clip of the TV show, one thing that I want to point out is that men are usually painted as the villains in society, right? Sexism in the world is all the fault of men, right? The reason why men look at women and think of women in traditional roles in society is because men are outdated. It's all the fault of men. No, it's not. Watch this. So clearly there's a problem. But what are the root causes and how do we fix it? I decided to come to Harvard University where they're really smart to try to figure that out. Hi, Hello. how are you? Are you? Mazarin Banaji is one of the world's leading experts on a term that seems to be everywhere lately, implicit bias. The deeply ingrained prejudices we don't even realize we have. I'm nervous. I hope don't I don't screw this up. You will not. Okay. I mean, look, 18 million people have taken these tests. So, <laughs> okay. So you're going to put your fingers on the E key and one on the I key. Okay. And that's pretty much where they'll stay. You hit the left key for male, right for female. Go as fast as you can. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Here we go. You're shown a series of words like children, manager, salary, garden, and asked to quickly decide whether you associate them with men or women. So basically, I wondered, am I a closet sexist? You are pretty good. The results? Not what she was expecting. No bias at all. Yes! <laughs> really? Yes! Come on. I've aced it. It could mean I'm unbiased or I gained the test. Either way, I'm unusual. So 80% of women who take this test show an association of female and home male and career. And what about the men who take this test? 75% of them also show it, but interestingly, slightly less than women, which often surprises people. The results of that study highlight one of the biggest problems facing men and women today. That is, women have a voice in the media and they are using that voice in a way that is not completely honest. Most women, if you ask them, will say that they're not sexist and they think that a woman shouldn't be seen as someone who has to be in the home, that pink shouldn't be associated with girls, that flowers shouldn't be associated with girls and that you know, playing in the mud shouldn't be associated with boys. Yet, when a woman is tested and she's just there on her own to make a quick decision on what she thinks is male and what she thinks is female, she will go with a traditional outlook. Now, that's not because women are the worst and men are the best, or men are the worst and women are the best. What's going on is that we live in a reality with natural laws. Men and women traditionally and generally behave in ways that are traditionally male or female. Now, feminists out there don't like that. They want to say that men and women are the same and that it's all men's fault that women are experiencing sexism in society, yet in reality, women are slightly more sexist than men. Now, of course, that doesn't mean that men have to be all about being manly and masculine and that there's no room in the world for men who are feminine and in touch with their feminine side. There's room in the world for those type of guys. Good luck. Go for it. Play with flowers, wear pink, all the best to you. Yet the reality is that most men like being men, they want to be men, and what's more, women actually like it that way. They want men to be men, yet that is not what you'll hear women say in the media or when asked in person. They will say that, no, 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 uh, pink should be a boy's color too, and uh, men should do all the housework, and all men should be just as interested in flowers and fashion, just like women are. Men should be more like women. Yeah, that's how to fix the world. Men should be more like women. Men should cry. Men should wear pink. That's the solution to fix all the problems in the world. Yet the real solution is to not force things on people. Instead, it's to allow nature to just play out naturally. 
Most men want to be men and enjoy being men. Most women want to be women and enjoy being women. And then there are the exceptions. Women who feel like they want to be men, men who feel like they want to be women, and so on. All the best to those people. They can do what they want, yet they shouldn't try to force the rest of society to somehow change and become not a man, not a woman, uh, just uh, something that's politically correct. No. The reality is that after millions of people have taken the implicit association test, it has been found that women associate traditionally female things with females and traditionally male things with males. Right? They don't sit there when they're being tested and want to fight against that and say, no, pink should be for men. They don't think that. So for the men watching this video, I hope that this helps you understand that men are not the problem in society. Men are not the cause of sexism, right? Men are not the villains. And the next time you hear a woman say that men are the cause of sexism and that men are sexist, just have a bit of a chuckle to yourself and calmly, confidently tell her that it has been proven by a female social scientist at Harvard University that women are actually more sexist than men.